Radical. Welcome to Flea Market Stories, documenting one man's journey into the world of flea marketing. What was the last one of these? I think I talked about uh, the moped situation, where a buddy of mine, regular, that comes to the table sometimes, he helps me sell stuff. His new moped, it slipped out of his hand and it scratched the bumper of an Altima to the right. Old lady vendor, right? And when he comes around now, he always asks me if she's around. He's kind of scared, you know, like he's just kind of like, well, where's she right? You know, and I thought they were going to like exchange information. But he tells me that how it works is he's talked to somebody, maybe an uncle that's in law enforcement. He said because she said she was going to get the car painted anyways, it doesn't matter. It's not him, on him, it's on her. And I'm thinking to myself, I wasn't going to argue with the guy, but I'm like, I don't think that's how it works in the law. Like, if you damage someone's shit, you need to pay for it. Your insurance company needs to pay for it. At least I think that's how it should go down. Just because someone says, ah, you know, it's cool or whatever. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Is that how it works? If something happens, you know, and then you damage somebody's stuff and they say, oh, I don't care about it. But I don't even know if she said that. He just might be making that up. I'm not I'm not sure. But he's an honest guy. I'm not saying that he's lying or anything. Because I've never seen this guy tell a lie, at least to me, ever. Like, you know, a lot of people, they tell little white lies, but he don't lie. He's like one of those people that are just almost honest to a fault, to their fault sometimes. And I'll segue that into this uh, story here. It's a quick, quick story. This is one of the quicker flea market stories. Just kind of want to get this out of the way because I found it very, very amusing. And hopefully you all will too. So, the same guy, the moped guy, comes over, comes to my table. And again, like I said, he was asking if she was around or whatnot. He's holding a copy of Madden 95 for the Sega Genesis. It is in the case, but that's not saying much of anything because Genesis games are indestructible. The cases are. Now, if you find a cardboard Super NES case, yeah, that's worth something. But the Genesis was far superior on their presentation. So it makes me wonder why everyone likes to collect Nintendo so much versus Genesis because it's feasible you could get like maybe an entire Genesis collection boxed. You're still going to pay a lot, but because the cases are still around. Those are awesome freaking cases. So he's holding the case of Madden 95 for Sega Genesis. It's old Madden. And it's in not bad condition. I open it, look at it. He walks over like he's just got something very special. Hey, hey, Rick. Hey, look what I got. Look what I got. Check us out. And I want to brag on it, say I'm like, oh, man, it's a nice find. Okay, it's a nice find. Right? But he's not just there to show me the game. No, he's trying to sell me the game. He tells me. And he's honest to a fault, man. He's honest to a fault. He tells me that he got it at a table a couple rows across for one dollar and he asked me if i would buy it from him for ten dollars first i think like it might be a joke but then i think this guy he doesn't have that great of a sense of humor if any sense of humor whatsoever he's like really deadpan i i crack a little smile because i know he's being serious and i tell him <laughs> I tell him, tell you what, whenever I get a Genesis to sell here and I need a game to demo on it, I will pay you $5 for that game. Then he smiles and he goes, okay. <laughs> so in his mind, in the future, he's got four bucks coming his way. He just five timed his money on that old Madden for Sega Genesis. To give you an idea how worthless old Maddens can be, not saying there are collectors that might want to you know, find an old Madden 95 for their collection on Genesis. Okay. I can't sell Madden 22 sealed. Sealed, mind you, for $10 without a struggle and a haggle. 
I have trouble selling that for 10 bucks. And on the cover, it's got, you know, Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes. Seal. Tomcat and, and Patty Boy. I have trouble selling that for 10 bucks at the flea market. And yet, I got a... <laughs> I got to go to pay him $10 for this 95 Madden. And he knows the game. He knows I got to make money. So what am I going to do here? I like tripling my money if possible or more. So I'm going to, you know, for me to make as much money as him, he would 10 times, it would 10 times his money. So wait now, I've got to sell Madden 95 on Sega Genesis for a Benjamin. You got five times your money, ten no ten times your money, <laughs> and, I, and then I might come back if somebody starts to haggle like whoa whoa well, you know what you doing here? Listen, it's Mad ninety five. It's in great condition, very fine condition, in the original case. Well, now I just said that, yeah. Will you take tens? I got ten tens. Will you take ten tens for a hundred? Yes, sir. I will. Thank you.